Hello everybody out there in YouTube world um, I thought I'd do a video about how I'm feeling you know um, I'm just getting messages of people from parts of the world you know I'm very concerned in how I am and trouble is you know when you try and speak to people about how you feel, it can be very difficult at times. Don't like being like this, I really don't. You know, when you try and do good in life, it always gets turned against you. It does, I've experienced it a lot of times. This is probably why I, I feel like I'm breaking away from the world as such. I know some of you might not like in how I'm coming across with this, but I just can't help the way how I feel. I'm not feeling negative. I'm just not, not the same person I used to be. And will that person ever come back? I don't know. I really don't know. It's like with the dating scene. I really put myself out there at one time and with the hope of finding a one true love. Tried it. I tried it twice, you know, got married the first time with my son's mother. I had a feeling that wouldn't last. And then I went and tried it again. Got married the second time and I had a feeling that wouldn't last either. Just had a feeling deep inside. And I see things come up on YouTube and that about these dating apps can't be bothered with anything like that I've just taken my way take myself away from that I don't want to I don't want to do it anymore which I'm not anyway I've been with anyone for nearly four years now that's not like me for those who know me out there they know they used to see me being in love being in in a happy relationship But I've given up on it, and I have. Um, I know I'll get some comments on this video. It shouldn't be like that. Listen, I can't help the way that I'm feeling. You haven't lived the life I've lived, living in my shoes. If you have been in my shoes and seen the things that I've gone through, you probably can understand the way, how I'm feeling right now. So my voice has gone again. <laughs> Stress for you, isn't it? I mean, what a weekend we've had as well. With the loss of another rapper, Shock G. You know, the man who did the Humpty Dance in the 90s, early 90s. Only a couple of years older than me, he was. Or life, man, I tell you. It's tough. It is really, really tough. And these people, man, who have got so much money, they haven't got a clue what to do with it. And it and it goes to the head. Oh, I've got this, oh, I've got that, and I've got this, and I've got that. I can understand those who, who have come from nothing, like myself, who've got nothing but they've reached a very high plateau but there's no need to show off that's the wrong way about it when you've got a lot of money if you show off man you're just asking for trouble because you could just lose it like that and i've seen that happen with people you know especially the lottery winners you know 
the money's gone to their head and they spend this and they spend that and they spend this and spend that. And next thing you know, they've got nothing left to show for it. That's why I don't believe in egos, because an ego autistic attitude to life is a man-made thing. I, you know, I may get some comments on, oh, having an ego to me, an ego can destroy you if not kill you, and I've seen that happen too. That's one thing I've never had is an ego. Have I had much money, to be honest with you? No, not really. Only when I had that compensation after when I got attacked. But that didn't last long, did it? Didn't last long at all. But I never. But when I had that money, though, I never let it get to my head. I never showed off with it. Never did videos about me buying this and buying that. I never did none at all. And what have I got to show for it now? Nothing much, really. But I'll keep doing things on my channel. And I will try to pick myself up in life. Which I'm struggling with now. Um, I really am. And asking for help. I've done that in the past. I asked for help. You know, to help me with this. Because I know I've got a, a mental related problem at the moment. I know I have. I feel it all the time, even more so. And I look at Tyson Fury, what he'd gone through when he won, when he became the undisputed heavyweight champion. And he even said that he, he had nothing left to achieve. But yeah, and again, he had everything. He had the championship. He had the wealth, you know. I don't know, life. It's tough, man. Tough. When I post this video up, I will. I'll, I'll put it up. But for any of those who are struggling like myself, you know, please share this video. Because I may not want to talk to someone directly about how I'm really feeling, which I have tried recently. I haven't said everything, you know, I've been really and truly feeling. But yeah. I just feel like just finding a, a huge unbreakable box with a big door and getting the key and locking myself away in it. And never coming back out. That's how I feel. That's how I really feel. But anyway. I'm sorry I've had to come across with things. And how I'm feeling like this. But I can't help the way how I feel. I really can't. Please stay safe out there, everybody. You know, again, I haven't got a lot of subscribers. Of, you know, if I get some new ones, the more the better. But just got to take each day as it comes, so to speak. Anyway, you guys, please stay safe out there. Please like my videos that I've been putting up you know if I get some new subscribers the more the better the more the merrier and please share this video as well please please share it I would appreciate it so hopefully the next video I'll do will be a bit better than this one <laughs>